In this video, we're going to learn how to make Venn diagrams in R using both ggplot and the Venn diagram package. So we'll start with ggplot first. We actually need to load in an extra library called ggforce, which adds a new function called geomcircle, which allows you to draw circles on the plot. Basically, to make a Venn diagram in ggplot, you have to manually draw circles and fill them in. So we'll start by loading those packages. Now we'll show how to make the plot here. To construct the data, you actually need to specify the X and Y positions of the circles that you want to make. So that's what we're doing here. We're saying we're making a data frame. We want three circles for this Venn diagram. So it's gonna be a three category diagram. And we want these circles to appear at these coordinates. So X zero, Y negative five, x1 y1 etc and then these other columns i'm adding to the data frame are just specifying other things like the category names here and the position for some text and to make the plot itself we'll use the ggplot function so we're going to pass in the data that we created the aesthetics for the circles are going to be called x0 and y0 so there we're passing in the x and y coordinate columns that we made you also specify this argument r that creates the radius of the circle and we're going to fill them by the category and after that we add on the geom circle we're going to add some transparency to the colors we're setting a size uh, outline color and we're going to suppress the legend because this venn diagram we're making is actually going to have text on all the proper places anyway so we don't really need that and then we're going to add geom text so that we can draw our category names in the middle of the circles. And we're also going to add some additional text manually for all of the overlapping segments within the Venn diagram. So that's what these four annotation calls are here. We don't need to look at all the details of them, but basically we're adding a text geometry at the right position with a label and some color and size options that will allow us to fill in text within all of the different overlapping segments. And finally, we'll add theme void to remove the various background plotting and axes because we don't really want that in this sort of plot. We'll set a plot size and let's run this and see what the result is. We're trying to construct a Venn diagram that's similar to one you may have seen before on the intersection of various data science skills. Now, as you probably noticed, when we used ggplot to make this Venn diagram, there was a lot of kind of manual fiddliness with having to specify precisely where we wanted circles to be and where we wanted text to be and entering text manually. So I'll also show how to make a Venn diagram using the Venn diagram package, which allows you to avoid a lot of that manual filling in of where circles and text is gonna be. So we'll show how to do that below. We're going to load in the Venn diagram package to start with. To use the function, you basically just need to pass in a list of each of the groups that you want to make the diagram for. So we're just going to generate some random data here to create the groups. We're going to actually make a five section Venn diagram here, and we're going to make five different sets. We're going to set some custom colors for them. And then to make the plot, you just call Venn.diagram, for the x argument for the data, you pass a list of the different vectors you're using for each of the groups. We're going to give them some names. You have to specify an output file, an image type, and some other options here to control things like the size and colors. And now at the bottom here, after the call to Venn diagram, the plot has already been made and saved as a PNG image. But to actually display it here in the notebook so you guys can see it, we have to do this call to display the saved image. So if all you need to do is save the plot and then you're going to use it somewhere else, you wouldn't need to do this. So let's run this. It might take a little bit to load in all the packages, but as you can see, we've created this five group Venn diagram with a lot of different overlapping segments. Now you're probably not going to want to use a Venn diagram with five different groups because at that point it gets pretty hard to see all of the different intersections. But for two groups or three groups, it can be a nice way to show the overlap between different sets in a visually appealing way. So I hope that was useful and thanks for watching. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like, and if you're interested in more data science content, 
hit subscribe.